So the background of me having psoriasis, when I was 13, 14 years old, I moved to schools um, and the TB jab was getting issued. I did miss it because I was in the changeover period from year seven to eight sort of time. So uh, I missed it the school that I was with originally. So when I moved schools, I had it the year later with the younger lot. Um, so I was about 13, 14 when they gave it me and mum and dad argued, should I have it, shouldn't I have it? Um, because my dad never had it and my mum did and my mum was like, well, what happens if she wants to go travelling and things like that? So anyway, mum won in the end and decided that I should have it. Um, like pretty much straight away after it, I noticed like some scabbing around it. Didn't really think anything of it there and then, um, but it then started to spread. I got it around my ears um so i went to the doctors with it and at first they because it was in circles like around the tb jab and just like circles around here um at first he thought it was ringworm the doctor so he tested for this and obviously that came back clear um it was that many years ago now he did suggest other things he he didn't know it was psoriasis initially um so i got referred to like another clinic where this woman made special creams for like dermatitis and things like that tried those none of them worked it was horrible thick smelly creams it was vile so that didn't work um it was only until my mum's best friend who was a doctor um we showed it her and she said straight away she was like that's psoriasis um so from there we then went back to the doctor and said obviously we've been advised it's psoriasis and he the doctor actually had it on his elbow with psoriasis and he was like oh well i've got that so it was <laughs> it was really odd that he didn't put two and two together i think maybe with it been in different places he didn't you know like wasn't my elbows my knees the most common places he didn't really put two and two together so then knowing what it was um he then recommended obviously the moisturizers some of the creams the shampoos and things like that um having it on my scalp these didn't really work over time it got worse and worse um I then ended up falling off my horse, whether this was a good or a bad thing, I was all right, and so was the horse, but I got rushed to hospital because it did land on my leg. Um, nothing serious though. <laughs> so when the nurse saw me, um, she saw obviously all the patches that had spread on my body and she said, oh, um, you ought to see the, the Professor Cork at our um, clinic. He's absolutely fantastic with psoriasis. You ought to come and see him. We never even got referred from the doctor when it obviously got worse and worse. So we then went back to the doctor to get referred and mentioned, you know, can we see someone at the hospital? So we got the referral and I've been under Professor Cork ever since. Um, he is fantastic, obviously knows so much and he's seen really bad cases of it like mine. At the hospital, they have to start you off on certain medications before you get to try the others. So again, I was doing all the creams with him, the Betnavate, the Doverbet, Diprosalic, all this. I'll show you a couple in a bit and do obviously a couple of reviews on all those creams. So I went away, obviously followed the programme with using them twice a day moisturize first then put the creams on it didn't get any better in fact it got worse um he referred me for light treatment i had quite a few um sessions with that but i know in your lifetime you can't have it that frequently and you're literally having to go for like 10 seconds so you 10 seconds on and then you've got to go back the day after 15 seconds then the day after 20 seconds you got to build it up because it's so much stronger um the sun like frequency or whatever i think it's u v b or a there was one of them i'll look into that i can't remember it's been that long so yeah they offered offered me that and then it did help originally it, it calmed it down but it was still you know quite visibly there and um from there he then said obviously these aren't working we're gonna go for medicine um to take so he first gave me um, clarithromycin, which was tablet form in doses. I think I had to take that every day or every other day, something like that. Um, and again, originally it did clear it up. It didn't get rid of it, but it was some nice, you know, time with it not being as bad as it was. So we stuck with that for about a year. Um, I then started to get really ill and went to the doctor's house having loads of headaches, which I've never, I'm not a headache person 
he was really concerned um it was to do with my eyesight with the drug so i had to stop it immediately so that again wasn't great um because the skin started coming back almost straight away from there he then referred me on to meet the trixate which is used for um arthritis as well about a form of arthritis and i was on this quite a bit longer actually a couple of years um which did work again originally like initially it did work again but then over time it just came back again and stopped working i think my immune system just got used to all the drugs uh, quite quickly so he did try up in the doses and things like that on that but again no success um in between having these i did get admitted into hospital a few times because the skin flared up so bad when it stopped working i was just red raw like just red patches everywhere all over my body and it was going into um, hypothermic shock my temperature couldn't regulate because of the psoriasis so i had to stay in a few days which was horrible be coated in you know all these creams again wrapped in bandages oh it was just awful um so they just tried to calm it while i was then put on to the next sort of treatment so from this i then got offered injections i was really worried about them at first because i've never done any injections and they sounded horrible but after reading up on the anti-tnfs i heard some fantastic things about them even though you are obviously going to get some side effects with things like that it was quality of life or side effects and i just you know i really wanted to be rid of it so i went on to embryo now this i had to inject myself every couple of days and um at first i actually was all right with it i could do it in my stomach myself and it was fine and it was brilliant it cleared up everywhere um again slowly it started to come back i did get again a higher dose um and it just got harder and harder to inject myself i got a lot of lumpy like fatty lumps under my skin from where i was injecting and it was like part of like the liquid was like just setting in your leg it just felt really weird it probably wasn't it's was probably like scar tissue or something like that but it was awful and i just found it really hard to, to you know inject myself so my mum started doing that um when with it been just so frequent it just really put me off um and when it stopped working we went back again and um obviously i did all the um questionnaires you have to have obviously quality of life tests and things and when it gets that bad they will offer you different things so after that i went on to stellara which is just a kid map is the posh name for it um i know this because i went to the doctor the other day and had to tell them <laughs> nobody can spell it so i tried this one and touch wood where's wood <laughs> it has been a life changer now if you have real severe psoriasis you must go to the hospital and ask to try this if you can obviously you'll have to go through the process of trying all the other probably things that i have first because they're cheaper to the nhs i don't know how it works in other countries but i got offered those first and then finally this one which is really expensive i think it's about three thousand pound an injection but with the um nhs obviously i don't have to pay for that um I don't know again like i say what it's like in other countries but it's well worth inquiring about it has been phenomenal now i've been on that since i was 23 so for four years i've been on that and i have been clear every single place on my body not a, a little tiny spot of it completely gone now originally my scalp did clear up it completely went for a couple of months but slowly that's got um worse not to the point it is now but it's been really manageable um i don't have to use all the creams and the shampoos as much i can do it every couple of weeks rather than every single week or every other day um so it's just been fantastic like i feel like a normal person when i'm on it um there has been a few side effects from it but nothing that weighs up having psoriasis i would 100 percent recommend it to anybody so that's Stellara, the one that's worked for me. There are other anti-TNFs out there now and Professor Cork has obviously said to me if that one stops working that I can try other ones as well. But for now, he said keep using that until obviously it does come back or touch wood. If it doesn't come back, then great, I can keep using that. That one's every 12 weeks and I have a nurse come and um, 
inject me with that one so it's a lot better not having to do it yourself although I wouldn't mind so much doing it every 12 weeks just yeah it's a lot easier so you do find towards the end of the 12 weeks sort of 10 weeks you notice you're really tired your joints start aching um you almost feel like you are not addicted to it but you know you need it it's not a nice feeling um once i have it you are on top of the world again you literally feel fantastic you feel so young, energetic. I know I'm not old, but you, like, you just don't have any aches or pains. You just feel, I don't know how to describe it, like you could run like 10K <laughs> and I've done a 10K and found that really difficult, but you really do feel that good when you've taken it. Like you could go out there and do it straight away. It's just fantastic feeling when you've had it. Um, and towards, like I was gonna say, towards the end of the, um, sort of 10 week mark it does start to come back a bit the psoriasis like you do see patches i did try and get it every 10 weeks which does really help but with the funding on the nhs they now won't let me have it every 10 i have to have it every 12 um so i just manage it as best i can with the moisturizers in between uh until i have it so why has my psoriasis come back because i have stopped taking the stellara as of april i took my last um injection because me and my partner were thinking about having children and you have to be off this injection about three months before you can start trying um so that's where we are right now um so i'll keep you informed on the journey obviously it's summer so the weather has been fantastic here in the uk this summer we've had such warm lovely weather that it's really helped with the psoriasis and I feel like it's kept it at bay while I've been off it. Now we're coming into winter, it's I'm starting to notice it a lot more and I will put pictures on how it is now. Um, it again is probably covering 90% of my body and it is so sore. Um, I'm going to put some other videos on of the psoriasis and do like a diary of it every week or whatever how it looks um, and I'm going to go over some of the other creams as well that I've been using so that's my story really from the start I hope I've not bored you to death but um, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to it with obviously how it started and things like that and um, with other things I bet a lot of people have tried the same things as me with different results so it'd be great to hear from you and yes I'll pop all the links below of all the things I've talked about so you can have more of a read because I'm not a doctor but I feel like I could be <laughs> a dermatologist that's for sure after how many um, visits I've you know been there and what I've tried so if it helps one person out of all the people that have psoriasis then brilliant so keep me posted <laughs>